with a new project that we set up for the new racing forker, we came up with um, some new objectives. We want to reduce the friction for the new oil. We want to reduce the initial stiction for the oil. We want to increase lubricity. We want to reduce the foaming of oil. And the fifth point is to increase the air evaporation, that the air gets quicker out of the oil. Those were the main objectives we had for this new oil. Um, coming up with you know, the idea where to go, we had to think about how to measure. So far, nobody that we knew could give us um, measurements or benches, you know, where to, where to measure all that stuff. So we started to build some equipment um, to measure and to compare different fork oils or old fork oil, the new development oils, uh, with each other. So we built, for example, a transparent fork where we could see after an initial impact how the oil foams and how long does it take to get the air which is in the oil out of the oil. Um, to measure this for sure you need to see what's going on inside of a fork. So we built transparent forks for example. Um, then we were thinking about um, base or its lubricity, how you can increase lubricity and the major point for oil is um, oil is made out of um, uh, carbon hydrate hydrocarbon. So you have normally molecule chains which are just long chains with some side arms and if you think about um, the fork and the damping those chains they will be uh, compressed and stretched and compressed and stretched so it's like an accordion you have that zigzag effect and with the molecule chains somehow they will break in between due to that movement that you have all the time. So we were thinking about do it different and we came up with that 3D technology which is a new thing that is developed by Motorex. 3D technology means we take those molecule chains and we put more of them together in kind of a network so we take one chain and we add another one and then we add the next level so we build kind of a queue out of this. And if you think about a cube, which is connected to each, each atom is connected to each other, it works like a sponge. So it goes in each and every direction. And all the forces which are guided into that molecule are distributed to all different connections and atoms. So it's much more stable. It stays in great. Lubricity is better. The damping performance is much, much better. And it is super consistent. So you can feel for example, for downhill riders, you know, which start somewhere up the hill and go down, they can feel that the oil is consistent till they come to the bottom of the hill. It's the same for motocross riders, or if you go off-road riding, you can feel that the oil stays consistent the whole race, the whole time. There's no difference. There's no change in your, in your feeling.